Just when you think you have a flawless take that's going to be done in one shot, your wife calls. Oh well. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Chantil here, and before we get started, be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button. Uh, so that you can be uh, up to date with more videos like this one, uh, some of my gaming videos, and also uh, giveaway announcements. Uh, so today we're going to be doing a review of basically all the tech that I use just about every day. Uh, be it streaming, uh, the YouTube videos, and the like. Alright, so we're going to start with my two monitors. I'm using two Acer monitors. Uh, one is 20 inch, the other is 24 inch. I am actually using the 20 inch as my main monitor because it has the better, it has the better quality image. Why that is, I have no idea, but there you have it. Uh, it's got the darker darks, the lighter lights, um, or the whiter whites, I should say. And the other one just doesn't. Uh, I played with the settings and I just can't get it to match the 20 inch monitor. If any of you guys know why that is, let me know in the comments. All right, so the webcam that I'm using is the Logitech HD C270. It's a pretty decent uh, camera, and it does, you know, do high definition. Definition, playing with my words there. And the only problem that I have is it doesn't always respond well with OBS, which is the program that I use for streaming. That's Obit Broadcasting Software. Uh, if you've never seen it, never used it, check it out. Um, it's completely free and I love it. Okay, so moving on to some of my gear here. I have a Razer Black Widow Chroma Tournament Edition with the Razer green switches that are awesome. They give an awesome tactile feedback and an amazing sound for you to enjoy and to annoy everyone else with. Okay. Then the mouse that I use is, oh, here I am uh, hitting stuff on my screen. There we go. All right, the mouse that I use is the Razer Naga 2014 edition. Uh, so it is not chroma. It has the, ra the standard Razer green, and the symbol does breathe slowly, which is pretty much awesome. I will, this, you know, I always say that I love everything. I really, really like this mouse. It's an awesome mouse. It works really well for me with all my gaming. The headset that I've been using is the Razer Kraken 7.1 Chroma. Uh, the 7.1, it is virtual surround sound. Uh, so when I'm playing a game or uh, watching a movie or something like that, I can actually hear the sounds behind me or beside me. It's pretty crazy considering it's just coming out of headphones. It does also have a very crisp and clear microphone, and if you want an example of what this sounds like, you can just visit the stream. Alright, so for the mouse mat, I'm using a Razer Goliathus Extended Control Mouse Mat. It's a very long name, but that's how it's labeled. Uh, this mouse mat is awesome. It helps, you know, keep grip on for my keyboard and anything else that I set down here. Uh, it is also fabric, it's actually woven, so that it ever, if it ever gets dirty, all I have to do to clean it is... Yeah, that's right, it's that easy. Okay, so I also use gunners. If you don't know what gunners are, I'll have them down in the description. Uh, these are essentially gamer glasses and or computer glasses, um, but Gunner initially created them to be gamer glasses. Um, they say that they give you a competitive edge and make the screen, the screen crisper and clearer. I haven't quite found that they do that, but what I have found, and what one of the other things that they do claim, is that they take away some of the fatigue. Uh, they actually block some of the, uh, the UVA, UVB rays that come off of your screen, uh, so that, you know, it's not bothering your eyes. You can actually work with a computer a lot longer while wearing these glasses, and I absolutely love them. Okay, so moving on to some other pieces here. We have um, my Insignia card reader. I got this for about $20 on eBay. Uh, I would always suggest going for a slightly more expensive one. Uh, you know, there are $5 ones out there, but they break really easy. They're made of cheap plastic. I've broken a couple of those before I moved on to about a $20 uh, card reader. Uh, this, it does so many. It has M2, micro SD, SD, MMC, 
CF and MS cards. It's got everything you need and some you don't. Uh, it is USB 3.0 so it has a very fast transfer rate which is going to be really nice for when I transfer this video. So moving on to something that I use every single day, my Moto Z Droid. Uh, this phone is awesome. I love it, like everything. Man, I love everything. Okay, I love you guys too. All right, so this, uh, this, <laughs> I almost said this camera. This phone uh, has a crisp, clear screen. It's got four gigs of RAM. It's awesome. I have never done anything on this phone that bogged it down. I'm sure if I opened up like three dozen apps, I probably could, but I have yet to do that, nor do I have a need to open three dozen apps. So yeah, um, it has all of the uh, the droid, you know, nice little tricks and everything. Like if I, uh, right, you see the screen like this, right? But if I twist it twice, whoa, suddenly we're on the camera and that's totally sweet. Uh, also, like, let's say, whatever, I need a flashlight. Hey, check that out. No, they just blinded you guys. There we go. All right, yeah, so it's, I love this, uh, this phone. Uh, it's pretty much razor thin. Let me take off the back here. It's just a little extra piece to give it a little finesse. Um, I really, really enjoy this. It's got a nice wood finish to it. I don't think it's real wood, but it, it looks nice. Uh, but yeah, razor thin. It's, yeah. Okay, so moving on from this phone, we have the Rode Video Micro. Boom. And uh, I did a review of this microphone already, so if you want to check that out, that'll be in the description below. Uh, also, all the audio is being recorded from that microphone right now. Okay, then where is it? We have the Altec Lansing Life Jacket 2. This thing is considered everything proof. And I did a review on that speaker as well. It's got a really nice full sound. It's great. It's, it's, yeah, I mean, I, I put it in the ocean. So check out that video. So uh, let's go on to some of my old Razer equipment that I am no longer using. Uh, this stuff we're actually going to be looking at doing giveaways on, so be sure to subscribe to this video. Uh, like this video, leave a comment, and uh, follow on Twitch. Um, that way you'll know when we're doing these giveaways. So let's start with the Razer Deathstalker. This is a uh, really nice keyboard. It is quite thin and it has really good structure. It is all plastic, but it, uh, it, still, it still holds pretty firm. Uh, these are uh, membrane keys, so very quiet. They are chiclet as well, so if you like that you know, ergonomic, flat uh, keyboard face, this is definitely the keyboard for you. I gamed on this for years and it was a great keyboard but I really wanted to move up to the chroma and also have the mechanical keys. So in the future this keyboard will be given away uh, so be sure to subscribe, like, all that fun stuff so you'll know when that's going to happen. Okay then we have the Razer Tartarus. Uh, this is a great control pad, um, offers a lot of control um, as the name would suggest. And uh, again, this has membrane keys. Uh, I would still be using this, uh, but I'm really enjoying the mechanical feel on my Black Widow. Uh, so I'm going to be giving this away. Uh, this is not Chroma, it is also the standard green, but it does offer a lot of control and versatility. Uh, I never even, the part of the reason I don't use it as much or at all is because I, I don't utilize uh, all the features that this actually has. Uh, this, uh, this pad right here, the stick, for all the clicking, each one of those is a profile change that you can make on this uh, control pad. It's awesome. And then finally, we have the Razer Charcarius. This is an Xbox 360 and a PC headset. Um, 
I used this for years as well. Uh, has a great sound. Um, the uh, headphones themselves, like the, the, the earpiece, is actually felt. It's really, really nice. Um, I used it for years and it still shows no wear and tear. Uh, the only downside I would say is that it's USB and two aux jacks for the headset and then you know the microphone. Um, I prefer you know just standard USB or just a simple aux cord. Um, but it is a very very nice microphone and it does have its own uh, little volume control uh, right there. I don't know if that went in focus for you guys or not. Alright, so that is pretty much everything that I use every day except my camera. So let me show you guys my camera really quick here. I am using a Canon SL1. Uh, very very nice camera. Uh, it is the, to date, it is the smallest DSLR in production. And that, of course, on top is the Rode Video Micro with the Dead Cat on it. I'm also using a uh, Vivitar uh, wide angle attachment on my Canon 18 55mm lens. All right, there you go. So that's all the tech that I use every day. If you're wondering why the camera is sitting on whatever this thing is, uh, it's because um, oversight, my tripod is in my wife's car and she's at work. So that concludes all of my reviews for this week. Um, the one thing I did not review was my PC. Uh, there's a lot involved in that. If you want to see the specs on that or want me to do a video actually on my computer, let me know. Um, but if you want to see the specs, just go to twitch.tv forward slash Shintil and I have that down in my uh, information. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video guys and just remember, whatever game you play, whenever you play, good luck, have fun, and somebody's calling me. Bubby girl's calling me. And don't die. Chintel out. Hello.